why is life so hard? Or better yet, why do we think life is so hard? Professor Tom Gilovich of Cornell University and Shai Davide of the New School for Social Research wrote an article about this entitled Headwinds Tailwinds Isometry. This concept is familiar with anyone who rides bikes or runs. Basically, we tend to be aware that we're riding or running into a headwind. But when we turn around and the wind is at our back, we are grateful for only a short period of time. There is imbalance in the amount of time we focus our attention on what is hard, the headwind, versus being grateful for when things are easier, the tailwind. When people are asked about what they are grateful for, they typically mention they are grateful for their family and friends. But they miss the invisibles, the things that are taken for granted. Things like, we are alive today, and have the ability to help others. We live in a country that allows us to speak our mind. We are surrounded with people that can help us grow, if we only let them. Comedian Louis C.K. says, everything is amazing and no one cares. This directly relates to the focus spectrum. We choose where we want to place our focus. Our constant focus on what is hard, what is against us, what is holding us back is aligned with the red side. When our focus shifts to what we are grateful for and the positive outcomes related to our relationships, wellness, and work, we are on the green side. Gilovich and Davide studied siblings, and invariably, siblings believe they have it harder than their brother or sister no matter who you ask. NFL fans believe their team schedule is harder than others. At work, you may say that your boss likes a coworker more than you or your colleague is lucky and you are unlucky. This can have a negative impact on your happiness and motivation personally and professionally. When focus is on the obstacles, we tend to lose focus of the outcomes and become less grateful for what is good in our lives and careers. Excessive focus on the headwinds can have a negative impact on personal growth and hold you back from reaching your true potential. When it permeates throughout a company, it leads to higher turnover as employees believe the grass is greener somewhere else or lower engagement as people focus on why everything is so hard for them. You may be asking yourself why there is so much focus on the headwinds in life when most of us know that this type of thinking is self-limiting and alienates family, friends, and colleagues. At the core of this behavior is personal sabotage. By focusing on life's headwinds, there is limited pressure to move outside your comfort zone and change. Change comes with a risk of failure, and to avoid failure, it's convenient to focus on the many headwinds and simply keep things the same. In work and life, spend time being grateful for the many tailwinds you have and then help those around you focus on what is helping them succeed. Take it a step further. In your personal whiteboard, create a journal category where each day you record several of the things that you are grateful over the course of the day. Avoid the temptation to list the same things each day and force yourself to identify unique items for which you are grateful. You may even want to develop a habit in the habit chain of the personal whiteboard app and evaluate how you are doing each day with being grateful or focusing on the tailwinds.